Hello again. This time I would like to explain our new concept to replace molars with two cantilevered single retainer resin bonded bridges. Traditionally, two retainer resin bonded bridges have been used to replace molars. But due to the high chewing forces in the posterior region and the mobility of the Batman teeth, often one of the two retainers debonded. And then it was a big problem what to do. A cantilevered resin bonded bridge to replace a molar is not really possible because the width of a molar is much too big to be replaced with a single resin bonded cantilevered bridge. The chewing forces in the posterior region are much bigger than uh, in the anterior region. So we talk about 80 kilograms maybe in the posterior as compared to only 20 kilograms chewing force, maximum chewing force in the anterior. And in addition, of course, because molar is much bigger, the leverage of a candy-levered single retainer resin bonded bridge would be much uh, bigger uh, as in the anterior region, where we can easily use single retainer resin bonded bridges very successfully. So our new concept, of course, is used when implants are not possible for any reason. So patients maybe do just not want to have an implant. Then we can use two single retainer resin bonded bridges, as you can see here from our publication from last year, where we presented this concept. Uh, and the special idea behind it is that the two pontics, they together build a molar from the design. And um, at the contact area of the two pontics, we place a specific vertical groove um, to give some additional support between the pontics. So there is a certain um, degree of freedom, so the two abutments can move a little bit, and there is not any stress between the abutments, but also the um, bridge cannot really rotate or can, uh, the abutment teeth cannot migrate due to the interlock, uh, due to the uh, vertical groove between the pontics. This concept, of course, is new um, and we have to see the long-term outcome over the next years. But the initial cases we made are looking very good. And an additional advantage of this concept is that even if you have undercuts in the proximal area between the abutment teeth, we do not need to remove these undercuts anymore. Instead of this, of removing undercuts, we can just insert these resin bonded, cantilevered, um, separated bridges um, in different paths of insertion. So that is another advantage. And in case uh, one of these resin bonded bridges get loose over time, so might debond due to high forces, it is quite easy to rebond one of these restorations if the path of insertion is chosen correctly. I hope that this explanation was helpful and hope to see you back soon. Bye!